Morning, black family. Sister Dot here. Got Sister Lisa Cabrera's newest content, her daily reports. It's about 8 minutes and 12 seconds. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, a big portion of the crowd of illegals coming south of the border are from Venezuela. And the U.S. has already given them big bags of goodies. So the U.S. offers temporary residence and work permits to nearly 500,000 Venezuelans. The U.S. government announced Wednesday that it will allow 472,000 Venezuelans to remain in the U.S. and work legally for the next 18 months due to growing instability and unsafe conditions in the South American nation. Joe Biden's administration extended and redesignated the temporary protected status for Venezuelans who were in the U.S. before July 31st, 2023, granting them temporary protection from deportation as well as access to work permits, the Department of Homeland Security said in a statement. Homeland Security Secretary made the decision based on Venezuela's increased instability and lack of safety. There are about 242,700 Venezuelan beneficiaries right now that are getting this temporary um, permanent residency and also work permits. So they're going to let these people stay, y'all. If they're giving them temporary residency, they're as good as here permanently. They are. You know, they're not going to send these people back. Venezuelans living in the United States could apply for protection from removal, the statement added. Look at all the... Look, we were born and raised here and we can't even get any protection. Straight bullshit from these police and these unruly people that keep accusing us of everything under the sun. It's amazing. They get sanctuary cities, sanctuary counties, sanctuary states, and man, we don't have sanctuary anything. So, ladies and gentlemen, the program was established by Congress for foreign nationals, who cannot safely return to their countries due to natural disasters, armed conflicts, or other extraordinary conditions. The United Nations says more than 7 million people have left Venezuela as the oil giant economy has collapsed. Under President Maduro, who has been in power since 2013, the United States was among dozens of countries that rejected Maduro's re-election in 2018 as fraudulent. It first designated Venezuela for this temporary residency in 2021. Joe Biden has been under pressure for weeks from fellow Democrats over immigration first from several cities such as New York that have been overwhelmed by the number of migrants arriving. Many of them are Venezuelans. Now, he, Joe Biden was in New York this week and Eric Adams, who was supposed to greet him because he's the mayor, didn't show up. He's so mad at Joe Biden because of the lack of support that he has gotten on immigration from both the governor and the Biden administration. He didn't even bother to show up to greet him. 
So in addition, about 20 senators, all but one of them Democrat, they want Joe Biden to redesignate um, not only Venezuelans for temporary residencies, but people from Nicaragua. They want them to have the same perks that Venezuelans are getting. Isn't that amazing? The Democrats know how to speak up when they want benefits for illegals, but go completely mute when you bring up reparations. Nothing for the people that were born and raised here, but everything for the ones that came illegally, committing a crime by crossing the border. So uh, the senators accuse Maduro's government of human rights abuses. America, America, listen to me now. Stop accusing people of human rights abuses and you're guilty of it for centuries. Okay, this is becoming a standing joke. You calling out people for something you've been doing for centuries it's just not flying. And I'm glad these other nations are calling you out over this. You know, remember, your racism is world renowned. So, um, including jailing more than 200 political prisoners. Okay, well, America, how many political prisoners have you jailed? I bet you it surpasses 200. and disqualifying opponents from running in elections. I don't know, y'all. These folks running for president, do they all look qualified to you? I'm just saying. America, please uh, stop the nonsense. You don't have a leg to stand on. Mm -mm -mm. So you see how your Democratic Party is fighting like hell to make sure benefits are given to people that are breaking the law by crossing into the country. But people that are sitting here right under their noses can't even get reparations. I'm just saying. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.